This is a cotton plant, which I think will also die as soon as we get a frost. So I want to get a quick video of it. This is not the standard cultivated form. It's a mutant form with dark colored foliage. It's a really nice ornamental. Cotton is in the same family as hibiscus and the flowers are essentially identical to a hibiscus flower. They're really showy. And this one, the foliage is a nice addition. But I wanted to show some of the cotton seed pods. Cotton is actually the fluff attached to the seeds inside the seed pod. This is the only one that's ripened. We had a really cool and wet summer this year and cotton is one of the uh, really heat loving tropical plants that's hard to produce here. You certainly can't produce it commercially. I put these out as very large transplants and I only got one pot or bowl. Maybe there may is one here it might be almost ready. This is the only real good one that's ready and one thing that's interesting to watch is these things are extremely sharp. Definitely tear your hands up. The seeds inside are large and they are an oil seed so they're really attractive to squirrels and rats things like that but they're also processed into feed for a lot of animals including people. That is cotton. This is some examples of the cotton fiber and cotton seeds that I got from this year's cotton plants. I should preface this by saying that in my climate, cotton is completely impractical. It can't be grown as an agricultural crop. You can grow it as a novelty, which I have done several times in the past and I did again this year. Just for fun, it is an attractive plant and it's a nice ornamental makes nice flowers and the dark leafed version is pretty because of the foliage. It's a nice conversation piece to show people and I think a lot of people find the bowls, the seed pods to be attractive and they use them in flower arrangements but it doesn't produce well in this kind of a cold climate. I put the cotton plants out as very good sized transplants about like you would with a tomato or a pepper and still barely got any to finish. There are a couple of cotton seeds here next to the multi-tool for scale. See I've defuzzed them but they're buried in the middle of the fuzz and the fuzz is firmly attached to them. So that was one of the early problems with cotton was detaching the fluff or the fuzz, the fibers from the seeds. But the seeds are good sized and they're easy to germinate if you give them heat and they do grow fast. So there's three varieties here the one on the far left I got as brown lint cotton. All these cotton came from Sand Hill Seeds. The white fibered one is red foliated and this one is supposed to be green lint and it's just very lightly tinged green. I've had it a little greener in previous years. This one really didn't fully mature. It's the latest of the varieties to mature and this pod that I cracked open really wasn't fully mature so it's almost uh, more of a gray white. In a best case scenario they're like a light seafoam green but part of this is to show that you know cotton at one point was available in multiple colors of fuzz. Um, white is desirable because it can be dyed any color but some of these natural colors wouldn't need to be dyed and they would already come out uh, color without the need for dyeing, so be the benefit to that. But this is an example of cotton. As I said before, cotton is a fun thing to play around with and it isn't hard to start the plants and the plants are fairly pest and disease resistant. They make nice ornamentals and just fun to show people what cotton is all about. But it's not, you can't grow this as a cash crop in the north. This is just for fun.